Hey guys, and welcome to Podcast 28. I am not your host, Benjamin. <laughs> this is Ben. That's Ryan. I'm also not your host, Ryan. <laughs> I am not your host, Benjamin, either. That's your host, Benjamin. Say hi, Benjamin. I, am, I don't know what's going on right <laughs> I now. I have no idea what's going on anymore either, and it's good to have you back. I feel like this is probably the first time in like 20 podcasts that we've actually said the podcast number. Thanks, Ben. You're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> I only know it's 28 because it's like... 28 podcasts later. <laughs> 28 podcasts later, and we finally struggled to fill out the three topic medium beforehand. I, we're just like, Who would have thought we'd go a year and a half like, before finally going, shit, guys, what are we going like, to talk about? We actually hit it. It was just like, huh, did you speak about this? Yeah, we've done that. What else? I don't want to give that fucker air time. <laughs> um, um, okay back to the actual usual introing <laughs> <laughs> um for those that are listening uh on itunes or anything like that please give us a review give us some comments let us know what you think if you're watching on youtube uh like and subscribe to our channel check out some of our other stuff and just let us know if there's anything of interest that you're keen to see and if you're a big yeah. fan of the dankest timeline Join, Join us, us on Discord. Discord. Yes. Yeah. We have a Discord. Where, where Can anybody remember what's called? Just Discord. Uh, uh, G- there's, GG. There'll be a link in the doop doop. Literally yeah. just down there. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's dank memes. Basically, dank, I, dank memes. Sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm part of this Discord, and I'm pretty sure there's been nothing but memes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's literally just a meme channel. <laughs> someday we'll Walls hold a memes. proper conversation. We should set up a webhook to know your meme, so every time a new meme is added, it, it posts it automatically. <laughs> Did you recognize it? this meme? <laughs> Here's the origin of you can't see me. Um, okay, let's get into the swing of things. Anything worth calling out over the last couple of weeks from you guys? So, I mean, I, I mean, I wasn't here the last podcast because I was working all weekend. So, working all for I have, the man. all I've Always done, for all I man. have done, basically, is work and sleep. I have booked quite a lot of hours in working um so the only gaming news that i have have time to masturbate no 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 he did that while working (laughs) 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 right i need you to are you masturbating (laughs) you know what they say working hard playing hard (laughs) hey look i mean you can code.net one-handed right yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, how much if, is if, ejaculation? If classes, if classes and uh, strokes what's get you off, then you know, go and for so, it. So how so many story own. points is ejaculation worth? <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah. Um, the other, the only, the only real gaming stuff that I've been doing. Um, so I've been meaning, I keep meaning to. Uh, to buy the StarCraft Remastered, but I haven't got around to it because of the whole time and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, mm. in any time that I have that I'm not tired and that, I've been playing StarCraft 2 instead to sort of get back into the swing of things. And I completed the Hurry Up It's Raid Night achievement, which is to beat the game in five hours, I think, five or eight hours, something like that. Great. No. <laughs> God, no. Because you don't have time. No, I know. I'm, I'm talking like being I'm talking like over the last month, I've played like a map a night. Yeah. If I if I even wanted to. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So the, you uh, should get Warcraft three and play multiplayer with me. Warcraft is pretty sweet. Mm, nah. <laughs> like, oh, nah, that's good. I'm good. <laughs> again, it, like, it, 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 com- it comes down to... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, it, it comes down to having the time to... The time and the inclination to actually yeah. want to download and install a new game. Yeah. It's just fair. like... I. I, I I kind of did the same with with Team Fortress a bit because I uninstalled all my HUD and stuff um, while I was writing an article on um, Team Fortress. How, how to install HUDs? Yeah, well, not not quite. <laughs> but ha- wait, wait, how wait. how to build a proper menu? Um, signed Ryan. <laughs> but but anyway, act- anyway, the point is the point is I un- uninstalled all my HUDs and I was just like, oh, do I have to go install them again. Yeah, I'll just play something else. (laughs) (laughs) It's getting like that with Hearthstone where there's an officially allowed app that tracks your deck. And every time I go to play something and I forget to load it, I'm just like, "Uh, can I be bothered to actually play this game (laughs) now that I have to exit out and reopen it? (laughs) Um, Okay, so for me, there hasn't been too much happening in my gaming um, life, but... As you know, I'm kind of probably still somewhat hooked to Overwatch. 
and the later season started mm. so the season six i believe it's up to now and what happens is you play your placement matches prior to every season and yep. it goes okay this is how you win and this is your skill rank and then you work up or down depending on how you go yeah um so i lost nine out of ten of my placement matches <gasps> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did it carry over your MMR from the previous season? It, it, yeah. I, it does count. So previous season, I think I was sitting mid-gold. Oh, okay. So that, that and, actually explains it a yeah. lot. And then, and then, but again, it's it's kind of a fickle thing. Like, especially if you're playing solo and you're jumping in and just joining a random group. Yeah. No matter how well you go, you could I mean, still But once again, it's still going to put you in a group of gold people. And if you encounter like three gold people on the same team mm. versus um your team entirely made of yourself and all your 12 year old friends <laughs> that, um, it's a natural thing so that yeah that was interesting for me it was just like all right i'm gonna because i hadn't really done comp for a little while and i was yeah. like all right time to do my um placement matches lose 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 lose, lose. win <laughs> won the ninth match and so, then lost the tenth <laughs> so where did it place you out of curiosity i got silver it was just like um 1900 which is just like well 1930 which is like 70 shy of gold mm -hmm. so if i get up to yeah so like, it's I not... like three more wins i'll get into gold effectively so not actually bad so... it's just like oh this is really inconvenient <laughs> it's, it's hilarious but they've also introduced deathmatch into the arcade modes which is oh, just good. Like free the... for all or team deathmatch nice. and that gets really interesting okay so <laughs> i yeah. as you know i don't have internet so i can't enjoy such great things as overwatch or destiny which really brings pain to me because i love shooters yes you need to tell me about Doomfist. Doomfist is good. He's he's an interesting character. He's okay. So, um, so he has a couple of abilities, and the thing is, though, he's a he's a melee character. He he does have a shot being a first person shooter and all, but you pretty much never use it. Um, but otherwise, like, it's it's a bit of a complicated character to play at times, though. It, but have you ever seen him? <laughs> it's like it's just like I don't know why it's more like, like over what? Yeah. <laughs> like I, um, I, I was thinking the other day. Yeah, I, I get I get so confused because you have like um a f Titanfall, Firefall, Firewatch, Overwatch. I always get confused which one we're talking about. <laughs> Firefly, take <laughs> my love. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So I keep seeing stuff from him, and a I can't not see Terry Crews all the time. And B, he just looks fucking. Is it voiced by Terry Crews? No. no. Oh, that's a shame. It just it wouldn't make sense to be voiced by Terry Crews. It just looks ridiculous and awesome, and I want to fly up in the air and pound people <laughs> with my fists. Yes, fists. Um, and then aside from that, uh, you don't know Danny. I made Danny from uni, but you know I made Danny from uni. Um, him and his brother opened a gym down in Wollongong. They opened a gym. They opened a gym. It's called Vision Body or Vision. Hey Brian, I know what you're doing. It's the moment you have spare time. Not going to the gym? Not going to the gym. <laughs> Playing Overwatch, actually. <laughs> um, so I went down and I checked out the gym yesterday and they... Sorry. Just smack oh. me in the face with the mic. Whoop. Um, it's a cool gym. Like, they have these... I uh, won't go into too much detail, but, like, I'm sore from head to toe just from a half-hour workout session. It was ridiculous. So, so, had, so, so, so you're saying they have gym equipment and then you can, yeah. you can do gym you activities. Know, no, you're going to have to explain where it okay, all so what, it, no, no, no. How, what makes this gym... So what it is oh, that's I different like to, to just them. gym equipment is they have these suits that have, like... Um, that sent electric they have currents. weighted training clothes not weighted wow. <laughs> so it's, close goku it, <laughs> so close it sends electric currents into your muscles <laughs> to simulate them more and so it engages them more and so it gives you a more intense workout over cool. the course of a short period of time rather so than... it kind of sounds like you're mixing your bondage fetish with your exercise say, fetish something something electro stimuli right uh, yeah well <laughs> i mean can't argue with the results <laughs> i mean his I'll arms are feeling small <laughs> It's good. Like, oh. I, I, I was happy. I was one hundred percent satisfied. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was my weekend. <laughs> We've stooped so low yeah. already. I'm proud of us. Uh, so what about you, Ben? Let me guess. Hearthstone and work and masturbation and masturbation. Surprisingly, I've had those things <laughs> and many other adventures. Okay. But first, I'm going to do this because I hate both of you with a blinding passion. Came into our recording setup today, 
the first thing I notice is this goddamn majestic thing over here. <laughs> you had to bring it in. Are you gonna? Are you gonna hang well, on? Hang on to that in front of you. I'm the rest of the. I'm working the rest I of the class. It up. <laughs> it's not gonna prop you up. on audio. This is a fish mounted on a wooden plaque that is also furry. Just, a I, furry fish. It's a furry fish. It is beautiful. I kind of want it. And on the back, it has a poem about hairy fishes, which is great. <laughs> so I mean, that already made my day. You okay? Yeah, no, like that's really awkward. Surprisingly low standards don't fail to meet them and all that jazz. <laughs> um, been playing a lot of Mario Cross Rabbits actually, which is. I I was at an EB and I saw a few posters where it looks kind of interesting. I haven't played it yet. I, if I had thought about bringing my Switch, I'd show it to you. So, I was like, it's going to be my first XCOM. Mm. It's going to be XCOM, but it's going to be childish as shit. It isn't. It's actually really hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you know me. I'm a seasoned strategy player, so turn-based, not art tiers. Dude, I play, <laughs> I play Fire Emblem. I play XCOM, <laughs> like Shin Megami Tensei. Like, you know, so I do Final Fantasy Tactics, all this stuff. And then I'm playing this, and then one of the mid-bosses just hands my ass to me mm. in the first chapter. And I'm just like, oh. Who can okay. say? <laughs> so I'm about up to, I mean, like halfway through World 3. I think there's four worlds. Okay. And like a bonus world, Mario style. Yep. And it's pretty good. It's very good. It's a good book. Worth, worth really reporting good book. on the channel? Like maybe an episode or two? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Would it sort <laughs> no, out format? That's the thing. It's, it's hard to like, because one map can go between like five minutes and an hour and a half yeah. so it's so it's like a strategy game it's yeah <laughs> I, like it's in the wood stream not okay so m what i was getting at there is um for anyone watching i was either gonna say we can play it and you can watch our video or in this case maybe we're not gonna play it go check it out if you get a chance yeah to. either or. or or if you want us to stream it let us know we can try and do that we'll i mean out some streaming australian somewhere. internet we'll see how we go um but let us know in the comments and stuff and we'll uh we'll see what we can do so it's also been a really good fortnight for the switch so re-releases at the moment which is fine because that means i now can play them anywhere so uh raymond legends which mm -hmm. i'm not sure if you guys played it's like back to the original raymond 2d platformer style yeah okay. none of that 3d shit none of those rabid motherfuckers Gee, that's, that story sounds familiar what recently did that what did sonic Oh yeah! Except, <laughs> how did you not realize that's what he was getting at? <laughs> I, I was like, I'm just Mario. like, wait, are you, are you they serious? Back, or are you they kidding? went back to a 2D platformer. None of that 3D shit. Hmm, that sounds. <laughs> oh, sorry. Except Raymond's sec, like first 3D game was actually good. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was fine. Fair enough. Um, and this one's old. This one's been out for a while. But they're just like, eh, we got to put it on the Switch to make some more money. And I'm like, eh, and I'm gonna buy it because I want it physically instead of digitally. Mm. So it's good. Fair um. Point. One of my favorite games, Binding of Isaac. Finally fucking out on the Switch in Australia. I've been waiting months for this. How did that get approved by Nintendo? I don't... It's on the 3DS as well. That's weird. Ah, uh, yeah, it's great. I, I know Nintendo's oh. really hardcore about that sort of stuff. Okay, I, I, I have a story that that just reminded me of. Shoot, man. So, I was watching... I was I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, all right, I'm going to eat breakfast, turn on TV... Some cartoon was on. Were you watching Sonic Boom, the animated no, series? Because no no, no. no, no, hear me out. That shit's cash. No. Okay. So my my point is a bit different <laughs> to this. It wasn't a good cartoon. Oh. It was messed up in the sense that I was like, this is ten a.m. in the morning. It's a children's mo cartoon. What am I watching right now? <laughs> and so what happened is the scene that I happened to come across. It was just so the the main character is like this little blue fish. Um, Are you talking about Chowder? Is it Chowder? No. Chowder's and also he's, messed up. But like no his one. friend is like a orange other animal. And anyway, it's a world of animals, humanoid animals and the such, and other things. And so they're, they're kids, and they're at school, and then the, they're at a, a swimming pool, and the teacher's going, okay, you, one of you needs to jump in, one of you will need to jump in and rescue you after a certain amount of time, da-di-da-di-da. And the first person to jump in is a piece of toast. 
So is the kid? <laughs> the kid is a, wait, is a toast. Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! Stop! You said the kids were all animals and other how, things. I said how, and other things as well. How, like, oh shit! No, that reminds me of another thing I need to talk about okay, after this. Okay. Go. And we can't. Okay. <laughs> so, and the, the teacher's like just messed up as well, and he's just like he's trying to whistle to get the second guy to go in. So it ends up taking like twenty seconds before the second kid jumps in. He dives in. He goes to try to save the piece of toast, <laughs> grabs one part of it, and rips a it chunk off. of it comes off. He freaks out. The fish is freaking out. Gets out of the water, going what? Could, like freaking out about what to do. And the teacher's like, "No one can help you. You need to sort this out." He runs off, gets one of the pool scoops, things, pool scoops, and scoops, scoops the f- toast out dumps him onto the floor and it's just like mush oh. <laughs> and then it's just like now you need to resuscitate him he's dying so you resuscitate him <laughs> and he's just like what do i do and it's like so start trying to give it a cpr and it's like and one of the other kids is just like that's not his chest that's his butt <laughs> <laughs> and it's like where's his chest where's his mouth it starts smashing into this mushroom oh my post. god and i'm like how is this a kid's show? <laughs> a kid's friend just died in front of him and he's just like smashing into his carcass. <laughs> Did you get the name? I can't rem- I can look it up oh. and hope maybe if I find it before we post this video, we can add it and link you to it or something. But it honestly, it blew my mind. It, <laughs> I'm sorry, Binding of Isaac just it, made no, no, that connection it's so in my beautiful. mind. It's ridiculous. so beautiful. But yes, that was, that was my Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Should we move on to okay. our topics? I'm not fucking done yet. Uh, I got interrupted I, I by segue, Toasty I Water Boy. segue his what? session. Go, quick. Go, go, go ten quickly. Seconds. No, no, I have props as well. No, beside uh, no. that prop. No. Um, so, yes. my segue that I was going to segue during your segue <laughs> to is I discovered an invention this week. It's from Victorian England. Now I want you to brace yourselves, because this is quite shocking. Is it a dildo? No, it's a toast sandwich. Oh, yeah. You didn't know about that? No. They toast bread, and and then put it between two other untoasted slices of bread, and it's a toast sandwich. That sounds... (laughs) (laughs) I I found it, and I'm just like, man, I'm going to put that in the insult baskets, be like, if you were a sandwich, you'd be a toast sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) It's... I just want to sit there and think about it for a while. And I'm just like, like, (laughs) wouldn't you just eat three slices of bread instead? Or make three pieces of toast? Okay. Um, Who knows? Yeah. So anyway, no no, no more segues. We we have prattled on to Back on to the topic of my week. Yes. Been reading a lot of comics lately. So picked up Gerard Way's Doom Patrol. Good. Nice. Fucking weird. (laughs) Fucking real weird. I dig it. I um, also picked up the latest Vision series, which is about the Vision building his own family and trying to live a normal rural suburban life. Mm -hmm. That sounds boring as fuck. You know who the Vision is? Yes. Yeah, no, it's not. (laughs) It's also weird. I love that we're in this age of... um, What? (laughs) It's it's fantastic. And um, I had to pick up a Wonder Woman comic for one of my little cousins. Cue me in Kinokunya, which I mean, best shop ever. It's so honestly good. my favorite shop. And I'm just staring at the Wonder Woman section because I don't read Wonder Woman. I uh, do you read no, Wonder? Yeah, I've never read so, a single Wonder Woman comic. Well, like I, I'm completely out of my field here, and I'm looking <laughs> out there, and then immediately to my right there is about this eight-year-old girl, also with her mother, doing the same stance, blank, <laughs> vacant stare at the Wonder Woman section. And I'm just like, I'm guessing your daughter wants some Wonder Woman comics. And she's like, yeah, can you help? And I'm like, I was actually asking you for help because I have no idea what <laughs> like, the fuck I can't, I'm doing. I can't help you. I'm <laughs> and sorry. I'm like, if we turn around, I can show you Miss Marvel, Squirrel like Girl, everything Spider else. Spider Gwen, all these really good, like, strong female superheroes. But you fucking, fucking want Wonder Woman? I don't know what the shit to pick. <laughs> Um, so I gambled on one. It had a nice, pretty picture on the hardcover, and yeah. I was like, "Hardcover's good, pretty picture's uh, also good." Yeah. So I was like, "All right, I'll, you know, it's an hour and a half up to where my cousin is. I'll read it to proof check it beforehand, just so I make sure I don't give her something that's like, you know, risque, slightly more bondage related than the usual Wonder Woman affair." Um, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like I was like, "Huh." 
Maybe some... I should read Wonder Woman. So now you're into Wonder Woman. No, I'm still reading Hellblazer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right you, got, moving... you can't fucking okay. stop me reading Hellblazer, it, son. That's fair. We will now get into our actual uh, first topic. Aw. Um, t- <laughs> uh, just to soothe my paranoia, the bars are doing the bar thing over there. Yeah? They're good, good. Cool. Um, so the first topic that we did want to cover, and if any of you have been on the internet over the course of the last week and a half, week ish, week yeah. ish, um, you would have obviously come across the whole PewDiePie controversy as as so, internet gives you. So what but exactly just gonna, did PewDiePie say? We're gonna ignore that <laughs> a little bit and just shift slightly to a related point um, that came out of it. Yeah. So there so, has been some. Okay, right. Go for it. Oh, okay. So, so the long and short of it is, is that Peter Pie is a racist. Um, but that is not not really, you know, important. What is important I is mean, he's a Swede. What do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Normally, I play along with your jokes, but <laughs> yeah. you're like, not right now, Ben. Not right nah. now. This is not appropriate. I'm nah. sorry. I can't help ba- it. On the back of Peter Pie's controversy, um, a particular game company. Uh, decided that they were going to DMCA strike the PewDiePie videos that contained their game in order to take them down. Which is a curious thing because these videos are like... They were unrelated to the actual... Okay, so for, for starters, he he made the comment in a PUBG game, I think. I yep. believe so. Um, this game is not PUBG. <laughs> so These that. videos are like four years old. The videos are four years old. Oh, well, no, that's like exaggerated. I think they're two to three but they're they're, they're anyway they're, all, they're, they're outside of the actually making money bubble yeah um so they've, they've, they've existed like fine on the website for ages um but the point is yeah they they used the copyright system in order to give peter pie a slap on the wrist basically and that's spurious dmca did, did they actually follow through or did they just threaten no they did it they did it they did it and then tried to justify it by saying that all gameplay videos are not fair use and we, the only reason the game industry allows them is because it makes them money. Right. Damn, so <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait. Didn't we just win a court case yeah. in America yeah. with the exact opposite <laughs> thing was stated? Yep. Yeah, so this uh, this particular developer, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, um, but can, yeah, the, the point is it's, okay. been a, it's been a bit of a controversy. I think... They might have retracted some of the statements, um, but, you know, the internet doesn't forgive. The internet doesn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> we are Zool. We are eternal. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, that's it. So, discuss. What do you was think? Was it the, um, the guys who made Firewatch, wasn't it? Yeah, Firewatch. So, who made Firewatch? I'm just... Fucking load <laughs> Wikipedia. My Campo f- Santo. Campo Santos. That's Which it. sounds like the world's greatest cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I get uh, one Campo Santos, please? Yeah. <laughs> or, um, what's what's that taste like? It's bitter <laughs> and filled with regret. Yeah. This is this is so mostly tequila. This yeah. is a really odd situation in the sense that obviously those guys don't have any other means of trying to tackle this to say. Ooh, we don't want to be associated with this guy all of a sudden. Um, he's played our games, but we don't want but that around. Can, can I put... Can, is there any way for them to be able to go, hey, look, we want to be distant from this guy. See, they weren't even related. Like, see, no one would have where, where, associated yeah, them with understandably, that. Understandably. Like, but f- just say for the sake of they freak out over this thing that's happened. They know that he's a big name and he has played their games before. And they're just like all of a sudden going full obviously no particular reason they've just gone okay no we want to distance ourselves should there be a means for them to be able like should there be a means for any game developer to be able to go uh, yeah it is I don't like they, you. they go they, they turn around and or release I'm a statement re- release you. a statement saying uh we are not um we are not associated with pewdiepie yeah, in any way even that's if, them absolved of guilt yeah but see even then if you let's take this to the negative realm where i grow and thrive <laughs> let's say you want to disassociate yourself from someone who's um smashed your game in like a negative light mm. critical review very mean and you want to disassociate your videos yep. should you have the right to no all right so if someone played and enjoy your games you know giving them a bit of a positive reputation should you have your right to disassociate from them no well, so the videos are effectively an opinion. Wow, well, I know this sounds really dumb because it's a less play. You may not even talk about the game during them. God knows the amount of times that I've talked about things that are not related to the game I'm playing. Yeah. But 
the video games and the let's plays of the video games are all opinion pieces mm. you don't have a right to distance yourself from someone else's opinion on that well on that topic like mm. yeah they've put time and you, and, and, and you certainly can't abuse the copyright system which is intended to um flag actual, actual copyright abuse, abuse. Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely right. i so, don't think anyone is disagreeing so with that what sentiment. like you said you'd put a review and if you really had a beef about it mm. you would contact his manager and say hey can we come to an arrangement so i can take these videos down mm. yeah like i mean oh there's, I, there's lots of different I'm, ways that they could have approached this if they really really wanted and, to do something admittedly if i was the manager in that situation i'd be like no, no. <laughs> i mean and at the end of the day yeah. and that this is what it comes down to right at the end of the day PewDiePie made those videos. He played those games. He he did his commentary parts. At that is arguably, I'm not saying it's official or it's pretty it pretty much, is, much now. is official. Pretty much is now. It's arguably fair use. Yeah. Right. So, at the end of the day, them saying, "Please take these videos down." Hmm. Right. He's going to turn around and say, "They're my fucking videos." Yeah. No. <laughs> so, I, again, like I said, I don't think anyone would be able to dispute that in any way so again so, yes yeah, so, there's nothing really to well, they have no legs no no no. but my, my point is if they didn't go Yar. down the dmca route if they tried contacting the, like peter pie or his mm. manager or whatever um and saying we don't want to be associated with you take these videos down mm. right they're going to turn around and say they're our videos they're our content yeah we can do mm. whatever the hell we want get oh, lost yeah enough. that's why i go you let's come to an arrangement so basically a company well a previously well-loved indie company mm. like I mean, Carl swoons the fuck over this studio and whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> Firewatch, baby. I'm sorry, Carl. I, um, what is Firewatch again? Because uh, I'm. It's, it's a walking simulator. Walking simulator. Um, are you familiar with that term? No. First person narrative with like it's a story where you play in first person. Oh, so it's kind of like a Telltale game, but in first person. Sort of, yeah. It's um. Did you ever play Dear Esther? Did Ryan ever play? De Has Ryan ever played a video <laughs> game that's not Crash Bandicoot or Team Fortress? I've played a lot of video games. They're just not in the genres that not you guys that generally general all, generally yeah. do. Anyway, that's, no, no, yeah, that's no, sorry, the point. I'm, I'm speechless. <clears throat> um, yeah. So first, uh, first person narrative driven minimalistic story. Uh, okay. No, not minimalistic gameplay. Okay. okay. Right. Um, so, the, I, I guess the other thing that I was curious about with this whole situation as well is to say, um, yes, they've gone about it a shitty way. And as, as a developer, I, I think we all agree that, yes, you've made, you've made your game, you've made your money, you don't really have a right to go and you can't put this up because it's copyright or whatever because as a creator, they've done their bit of putting commentary, playing, their, playing the game as their own interaction and pulling out their own video so that's fair use um but should should companies be able to or development companies be able to have a say at all in in any of these situations well this... i think i think this comes down to just the absolving of guilt right like again their content right like as in the the let's players mm. that's their content yeah right well, it's like it would be like okay so let's take another example let's take the honest trailer guys mm. right imagine that they did an honest trailer that the that the creator of the movie was not happy with. Yeah. Right? Do they have a say in taking that down? I'm, I'm not necessarily talking about taking it down specifically, but more so about, like, finding a means of... Controlling it. Yeah, potentially well, controlling it, see, but, or potentially the, just... Um, do you guys remember earlier this year, a really big JRPG came out? By the name of Persona 5. Yes. Which we all wait. Well, I waited a very long time. <laughs> and then, because it's made by one of the companies I like, Atlas. Yeah. Fantastic games company. Um, owned by Sega now. So, um, they're in the terms and conditions of the game, was you may not stream past this point. Okay. There was a fucking uproar. Mm -hmm. because one of the only reasons Persona is so big in the West is, I can't remember which group did it, but they basically was like, motherfuckers, we've got a marathon Persona 3. And they're like, that's like 180 hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, But that was because of the story, right? They didn't want to spoil the story. They didn't want people to know about the story. But what if you did the same thing? 
what if you like and this is no so, no this no, is your point ties perfectly into what i was getting this at. is my negative zone thing what if you start putting disclaimer on your games that you don't want so and so and so to, to stream like yeah. so what if i made a game and said no one's allowed to stream this except that fucker over there yeah so that and so that, or other way around I, either, either can way. i uh jump in here so mm. that is akin to the people that jump on and share game of thrones spoilers right so they watch the episode and they go holy shit xyz happened right no, no, should, oh, the, should the should the developers or the creators of Game of Thrones have the rights to um, take legal action against those people that are spoiling the game or the, sorry the show? So it, it it doesn't marry up specifically because oh it it, it does sorry um, but in this situation we're saying if they do it illegally or in terms of Game of Thrones and whatnot where they have a copy of a prior for example. And then they go, okay, we're going to tell people about it. I I think it's it's if reasonable a, ground. If, if they've got if they've got a copy and they're not allowed to release it before a certain day, you like mean, they've got a media copy or whatever, and, or they signed an NDA because they have a pre-release copy. Yeah, and then we already have a legal ground to stand on. Yeah, yes, exactly. But if they go in in their contract or in their if you're watching this, you're not allowed to do X Y Z. If they specify that to say you can't tell people about this show i okay my view is yes they have grounds to go okay you watched it and then you told someone else you've done the wrong thing simply because it was in the print to say you can't do this but that that's, is that's, a that's, stupid it's move. not mind it's not binding that's the problem right because you haven't signed anything it's an implicit yeah, it's an yeah, implicit no, so, thing that so, oh i'm watching game of thrones therefore i implicitly agree not to well, talk about it's like it the that, same that's... thing with games where you can't read the terms of service until, until you, you in... open the box and install the game and, and it shows you, you the terms of service refund it. well you can under australian law because yeah. australian laws actually remarkably pretty good for that <laughs> it's australian laws fucking weird at times but great so but my, my point is if there's any sort of contractual agree agreement then yes they have grounds but in in your in what you're explaining being a tv medium of cons of, of consumption then it's kind of hard to set up that basis so i have but if they do somehow set it up then yes but the other point is it's the dumbest Thing that they would ever do can, can no, i talk about dumb contractual <laughs> bullshit for a no, second no, but before before we get there please i just want to say please. we can in a second um when it comes to stuff like game of thrones right if they've released it for public consumption then they don't have a right to say yeah, you can't yeah talk exactly. About exactly. exactly that's the thing right that's so if they've even if they release it on fox right the whole like the whole point is it, is that it protects reviewers and stuff people going holy shit this episode is amazing xyz happens mm. right that's effectively a review did you yeah. just say holy shit this episode's amazing they finally brought incest back into the main plot hey <laughs> you know the worst part is it's true. I know. <laughs> Sorry. But, but the point is, the point is, you aren't signing a contract when you watch Game of Thrones to yeah. say you will not talk about this, you will not spoil this. And I'm not saying you are. That's like as things stand, there's no means for HBO to say you can't talk about it. But if for whatever reason they found a way to do that and they actually implemented that, then. There is grounds for whatever action they want to you take see, after. We're but getting, it will be the dumbest thing we're ever. We're getting very Olsen Wellian with the like, how do we enforce this? <laughs> well, we control everyone entirely. Um, um, but that, but that, so that, that's why I'm a persona um, example, right? Yeah. You've released it for public consumption. I understand if you've released a pre-release no, version. No, no, but, but it's, it's not in about... the T's and C's before you play the game. Yeah. And it's but also, that's my point. It's in, it shouldn't... it's in the T's and C's to say, once you get to this point, no, no, you're not allowed to stream it. But so no, by no, buying the game... By playing the, by game, playing the game, if you didn't agree with it. the teaser C's, you can return You're it. Not but to, to get into the grain, get into the game, you actually had to agree to it. Oh, so it was an official, you have to click yes to this? Yes. Okay, Press so that's X fine. To continue. Yeah. So, so, in the terms of Persona, it's again stupid, but, but yeah, legally they, they have those and grounds. Because right? we now live in the age where we can update the EULA continually. A couple of months later, they're like, "All right, game's out, spoiled, do, do your free, thing. done. New year is out. You can stream the whole." Th and everyone's like, "Don't fucking want it now." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you burned <laughs> that bridge, I'm, motherfucker. I'm pissed at you. <laughs> you um, don't want it. So my dumb legal tangent about this is directly related to my work, which sucks. Recently, my um, one branch of my company, in fact, the main branch of my company, 
and you've definitely heard about this in the news, lost a lot of data or leaked it to the public. Yep. In the States? In the States. Yes. I forget um, the name. One of the, of the terms and conditions to see if you were hacked was you have to opt out of suing them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I kid you <laughs> like, not. Chances are you got hacked. We're not going to tell you, but if you want to find out, you have to promise you can't. You, and you're not like, hacked to us. Legal team caught up to it very quickly, like uh, 24 hours later. They're like, this part was just copy and pasted from our normal stuff. And I'm like, that shouldn't be in your normal stuff. Yeah. In fact, that shouldn't be anywhere. You can't, yeah, I don't think it should be it's right. Like it's effectively to, you holding can't. your personal information hostage and going. But all I can <laughs> say. Like, almost I like the holding me. it to ransom. <laughs> oh, all I can say is fucking America. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, now I've definitely made sure that we won't get any advertiser money on this. Yeah, because <laughs> you've sworn. And, I, oh, well, then again, we've talked about YouTube and we've sworn. Oh, yeah. So we must. So here's the furry fish. We're going to all pat this furry fish <laughs> and then talk about a happier topic. <laughs> no more I'm legal. Not, I'm, I'm not, not touching I, that fish. I'm not touching that fish. I've touched it. I'm no, not touching it touch again. Touch the fish you know, bin. Nah. So let's talk about mods. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. I'm so, done with legal bullshit. So you guys talked about uh, Creators Club last week, right? Or uh, last two weeks ago. Nice. Yep. Yeah, uh, yes. So the potentially good idea, just implemented poorly. Um, yeah, I was going to go with just implemented poorly. I'm not even going to go with potentially good idea. It wasn't a good idea. <laughs> No, okay, we can have a conversation up, about up, that later. Uh, give me what, a quick recap. Um, so, Beth Cedar's implementing a... Beth Cedar's. <laughs> yeah. Bethesda. Bethesda. No. I, know, I, know, I, knew we I actually refuse to call them that. <laughs> Beth Cedar. Yep. So, okay, keep okay, going. Um, have implemented paid mods for Skyrim? No, Fallout. Skyrim's Fallout. coming. Yes, Fallout. <laughs> Don't worry. Skyrim they're, will get it. They're, yep. they're, same thing, yep. basically. Um, so what they have is a curated version where they go, you submit a mod to them, and they're like, yeah, that mod's worth $5. We'll take 60% of that, and you, you get, get 20% of that. Whereas the last 20%, you say, oh, that's maintenance. Right. So they get so 80%. They 80% <laughs> of it. Right. Um, and on top of that, the mods, that they've, they've, they've actually released some of also their own mods. Also, figure they're not actual metrics yeah no, no I yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so a few other things that happened um, out of this was they stole mods from the community yeah well kind sort of. of they remade some of the mods that the community's made mm -hmm. and it remade them in a shitter version of them yeah <laughs> and then charge money for them right um, when you also, can get it for free they've also microtransactioned the shit about this oh yeah so you get you have to buy 750 Bethsida bucks if I remember correctly yeah and like transactions happen in 400 coins so you can never have a right. perfect yeah. amount you'll yeah. always have some, so some always leftover. Have a little leftover just like league yeah Legends yeah so everything else it's just like transactions yeah yeah it's just yeah my veins. um yeah. the other the other thing they that they did the the modding it platform itself doesn't really support anything other than skins so yeah. you can you can't get like stuff that adds new content or or, or new storylines you know or what anything the most popular type of mod for beth cedar products is fucking patches unofficial yeah. patches yeah this is like under normal yeah, because circumstances we know, like bethesda is just well known for buggy ass well, let me put it this way when Oblivion. i let me put it this yeah. way <laughs> i brought I love... this up like a fortnight ago they forgot to put physics on paint brushes. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's physics. That's you can pick up a paintbrush, let go, and it just stays there. And then you can <laughs> jump on it because <laughs> you can stand on them. They're, they're solid. <laughs> That's great. Um, anyway, it. anyway. Um. So. Yes, you're right. The most popular mods are the ones that fix their goddamn games. When I install Fallout 3, one of the first things I install, A, is the Fallout overhaul kit and the unofficial 1.7 patch, which acts, adds support for stuff like multi-threading and sound cards. <laughs> <laughs> and 1080p works. resolution yeah. and textures so it doesn't look like a 486 when it's at 1080p resolution. Yeah. And, <laughs> it's, and, it's, and, and optimizations and the, the uh, fixes for NPC see pathing and <laughs> anyway the point is uh i did the same thing with the reason, yeah. the reason why we're talking about this again this week is because the creators club uh has 
this sort of spammy sort of thing on the main menu now in Fallout, where it's like, hey, check out the Creators Club and and, and buy stuff deck. and buy. And, so so and someone that. added a mod not to the Creators Club. That would be they hilarious. Should. They should have. They have added a mod. Imagine the Creators Club <laughs> approving that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I they, think they added a mod like, to remove the spam on the main like menu. The automated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Buy the ability to not see the Creators Club. Five dollars. <laughs> <But, yeah. laughs> hey, don't tempt them. By twenty twenty, that will be no, an no, option. No, that's that's a thing that you get in microtransaction games of oh you're sick of these ads buy this but whatever i think it's a glory of the free market that the first thing someone did when they thought about the creators club was like motherfucker how i'm gonna I, build a mod how do i hide this div <laughs> it's like yeah that's the thing it's like the okay so when the game first came out and, and modding like started uh happening and stuff people figured out pretty quickly that you couldn't earn achievements when you installed mods so someone made a mod that re-enabled achievements <laughs> while you're playing mods. Uh, <laughs> so, so question for you guys and yeah. uh, sorry to be retouching on the topic from the last cast is oh good i thought you're gonna go by, back to legal shit and i'd have to hit you with the furry fish no, 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 no. <laughs> and um, that's not the name for my penis <laughs> keep, keep, just keep talking I'm uh, the top. <laughs> um how is this modding payment modding thing working can people no longer use the free mod no okay. no you can still use free mods see basically so it's basically you... in tandem of Free mods. You're basically paying for mods that have been curated by Beth Cedars lovingly and like so brilliantly can, trained QA staff. So you can effectively just go, meh. Yeah, okay. and that's I'll also pure sarcasm existing, because I, I know. Um, I'll stick with my existing free mods or, or all the yeah. other free mods that are going to come the, out. The, the, the overarching selling point is is like like you said, they're Bethesda curated. They're they're supposed to be they're quote unquote be approved supp- like supported, no, supported and, supported and, and, everything like and will that. work yeah. properly and yeah. all that sort of stuff the problem is they don't yeah they're understandable th- they're, they're still bit cedar mods it's like okay talk, coming into our personal lives we use software for example do we use software i never knew <laughs> the example that i wanted to talk about being jira okay and oh. there are at last in approved um you know gadgets I... and odds and ends yeah. and then you have user ones and that are free yeah and some of the approved ones are absolute garbage yeah garbage i've actually broke out production jira instance with one of those amazing. ones so it's the same sort of thing I, yeah, okay. yeah. I, i'm not proud moment but also i was running on no sleep and someone asked me to install a new plugin what do you want like, from me all right it's dead your problem now i'm gonna go sleep now fuck off and die it's 10 p.m um okay just random question out of all of that um you're do you play fallout 4 uh, or Fallout in general? I play Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics because I enjoy uh, role-playing games. So out of the ones that you have played, are there any mods that you would recommend for anyone listening or watching? So I have played Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't yet modded Fallout 4 because I'm one of those people that are like, I want the vanilla experience until I finish the game. Right. I'm 300 hours in and I haven't finished the game. <laughs> you say that as if it's a problem? <laughs> it's not. But anyway, the point is I haven't got, I haven't quite got there with the mods yet on Fallout 4. Playing but Fallout, Fallout 3, 4, have you felt the need for mods at all? No. Nope. Like, or do you think what, it's a good enough experience? You mean you don't want like... a proper conversation tree back, you fucker? Okay, so two things. Not better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are, there are some things that I would say hey that should be fixed with a mod mm. um and i will get to that eventually like i said i just want to finish the vanilla game first i just get distracted with side quests all yeah, the time and it's yeah. like, and that's fair you yeah. want to have the developer's intended experience exactly so, exactly uh, in three but in fallout 3 i have finished the game and then i started modding the hell out and of it so it like five times at least no no i've only actually ever finished it once oh. but i've played it enough and gone through all the side quests and that sort of stuff so um fallout overhaul kit mm-hmm. or fook uh, I think it's called Fook 2 now because there's 2 or something. Anyway, the point two is... Two Fook, Two Furious. Yeah. Yes. Fook 2, Fook Furious. Um, the Fookening. I think that now includes um, this next mod, but in case it doesn't, uh, the Phalanx mod, which mm-hmm. is basically multiple companions. Um, it adds different companions with new new voice lines and new everything. Okay. Um, it also adds a more easy to use companion control system whereas previously it was like wait or follow me yeah. it adds like the whole guard this area or shoot there shoot there a- attack this guy flank this way that sort of stuff okay. um, um and that actually extends to any game that's five years or older if you had to go back and replay something on pc 
just Google unofficial patch yeah, that's, game so, name. So that, that's, where, that's my next thing was like the Fallout 3 unofficial patch. Mm. Um, I think it's one point... Like it's, I think they call it 1.7 because the last real patch was 1.6. Mm. Um, and then uh, there's one there's one that... It's not so much a patch as it is a config tweak, but there's like some config ch- um, checks that you can do um, to make it run on more modern systems because Fallout 3 doesn't really support 7 yep. and up. And it does kind of, but it falls yeah. over. And this, like, not related to the Fallout stuff, but it's the same thing with, like, Dark Souls. Yeah. There's, like, three mods you have to install to play the original Dark Souls properly on PC. One, it unlocks the frame rate. Mm. Two, lets it actually broadcast at, at a reasonable definition. Three, it lets you remap your controls. Yeah. And I'm like, geez, wouldn't it be nice if these were regular features in a game, in the actual game. It, it reminds me of um all those mods <laughs> that come out for like new games where they they disable the drm like the denuvo drm which um which slows down the game or um there's uh was that, there was, was a tales a, game was it tales, tales of or, fantasia or something like that i thought it was a batman game but anyway yeah that oh yeah batman arkham city night or night later <laughs> which, Ar- arkham insert word here um where a guy basically released an unofficial patch that made the game run like five times better mm-hmm. within six hours of the game being released. Yep. And I'm like, Why? hire him. Why? Yeah. Hire um, him. Well, that's kind of what Son- um, Sega did with Sonic Mania. They're like, huh, these guys are actually making ROM hacks and they're really goddamn fun. Let's hire them to make a Sonic game. And Shame Sonic- that didn't work out too well. So- Sonic Mania. It's oh, great. Oh, wait, uh, wait, never mind. I thought you were talking about... Sonic Unleashed. What are you talking? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Anyway, um, I did have another follow-up question with regards to what you were talking about when you mentioned another. Of the... Sorry, my mind's been literally scrubbed of Sonics because I've been so exposed to it in the past like <laughs> month. There's like a Sonic-shaped hole where I like <laughs> lobotomize myself so I don't have to think about the timeline anymore. Okay. Um, Try, please don't bring it back. Okay. Are there specific types of games that use mods, or can any game have a mod? Because most of the games that I played either don't really need mods per se. Or they just generally don't have mods. So I, again, it comes down to the whole depends on the game that you're playing, right? Mm. So games that are sort of RPG open world tend to have more mods yeah. than so other... GTA, for example, Let, has some really cool mods. But like, but check, like, take me... something like FTL, mm. right? I can play FTL, and people have made mods that um, give you the ships shaped like Star Trek ships. Cool. So like, I could play yeah. that as Voyager yeah. or or whatever. Have they put the sh- uh, Moya from um, Farscape in it yet? I have I've no idea. I, I, I hope so. Again, this is just things that I read. I haven't actually tried myself. Um, so, but you do use mods, believe it or not, Ben. <gasps> <gasps> you monster! <laughs> Be- I, like, How could you? I? <laughs> I, I can just like drop one game, and you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I do use mods." Tell me, SK three, motherfucker! You translation patch that shit. That's fair. There you go. That's that's a very good point. Um, so, and that's the purpose of mods. They provide potential longevity and ease of transition. For example, uh, Final Fantasy VII in the initial Steam release hmm. didn't have correct audio. Okay. So what a bunch of people did was they went and ripped the PlayStation game, so audio track, and then like opened up Final Fantasy VII on Steam and like jammed, jammed it, it in. in there and then closed it and said, Ked, fix now. Jeez, They've yeah. actually fixed that later on because Squeenix yeah. was like, oh yeah. We should probably do that too. And, and the- there's, there's one game that I've been wanting to mod for a long time. I had uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein on PS2 mm. and it turns out that the PC, the PS2 and the Xbox classic, original Xbox, whatever, Xbox, all so- had... All the had Xbox different X. mission packs. So, like, there was, like, a prologue chapter in the PS2 version that doesn't exist on the PC version. Mm. There's another set of missions on the Xbox version that doesn't exist on PS2 or... Right, um, yeah. the, Anyway, the point is, I'd like to get those missions and put them like onto have... the PC version so I can play the whole well, game. You'd have to, like, to have Wolfenstein Complete Edition... Yeah. Um, other but things that hasn't existed yet. need mods that you didn't know needed mods mm. until I told you need mods. <laughs> Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I can see where. Like again, okay. So to clarify, 
I've played games where I definitely know could definitely use mods. Like, this could really happen. <laughs> this I, could be I much don't better. like the way that I clip through the wall. <laughs> but Can I get a mod that adds proper wall physics points? I'm not sure. <laughs> Can we get a mod for Bubsy 3D that actually adds textures, yo? <laughs> <laughs> what about a proper controls? All right, guys, challenge to you. Fix Bubsy 3D for me. <laughs> Just in general. Like textures <laughs> controls level design camera sound design so, so what yep. they're saying is rebuild bubsy 3d build bubsy 3d and then we end up with something like ukulele yeah, it's okay uh, it's serviceable yeah it does da, da, the job. Da, da, da. um <laughs> so i guess the other thing that i did was curious about is are mods generally fairly easy to install depends no. on the de well to depends on the game install and use Stuff like um, uh, Bethesda games that have such a huge following, they have like tools. Yeah. Like there's the I think I think they've now converted into one tool, but it was called the Fallout um, Fallout Mod Pack thing. Mod Manager FOM F O M M Fallout Mod Manager. Yep. Um, and I think there's the same thing with Skyrim and, uh, and Oblivion and that sort of Diablo stuff. Diablo also same sort of thing. And yeah, it's like it's like basically uh, you plop in the 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 files because it, it just the game itself it checks those files, yeah. like checks that directory, um, and then you tell it what lo load order they need to be in because you'll have you'll inevitably have a mod that overrides one thing and a mod that overrides that same thing, and yeah. you need to tell it which one that you want. So, the answer is sometimes yes, and sometimes then sometimes you have to end up with mods to old games on like either NES, SNES, or GBA, mm. which either involves live patching a ROM mm. or decompiling a ROM. Yeah. And, and editing assembler. Yeah, injecting yeah. your changes, recompiling, and praying to sweet <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that it still works. <laughs> which you've, believe it or not. No, I, I get uh, it. So but again, like, so GBA um, Pokemon mods, for yeah. example, um, they're now to the point where they have tools where you can be like, okay, I'm just going to draw some grass tiles here. This is now a new level. Yeah. Right? That's so cool. they're getting very RPG maker Creative. friendly yeah. with this. Mm. And so it's a lot better than it used to be because I remember trying to play uh, Chrono Trigger after I played it for the first time in English. I wanted English. to play it in an actual translated from Japanese, which mm. sounds dumb, but it's actually a different game mm. when it's being translated from Jap. Like, there's story elements in there, man, that are like, huh. Yeah. Makes it's sense. Like, it's like when you watch anime and you get dubbed versus subbed. Yeah. Sometimes they change more than just the words. Yeah. They stay sometimes that they're, they're not just friends, and in fact, they're fucking. <laughs> Thank you, Sailor Moon! <laughs> I needed that as a teenager, but no, you took that away from me. <laughs> I, I'm Moving sorry. Right I'm sorry for those listening. We didn't mean to get into, <sighs> into Ben's <laughs> issue. <laughs> <laughs> into, oh. into Ben's repress, repressed urges for Sailor Moon. Oh my god. Okay. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about with regards to mods, or um, are we good? I think I'm good. I had a lot of more mods that I wanted to recommend, but I think I'm done. I think yeah, I'm done. you've. I can't, I've got I've got so many mods. That's the thing. Like yeah. well, Fallout Three, especially. See, what I'm really happy about is developers have started noticing that some people require mods to get their games working on current systems. Yep. And then they were like, oh, "No, fuck it. We're gonna rebuild that game. Boom. Age of Empire Two now works with Windows Ten. Boom. AOM works with Windows Ten. Starcraft Remastered. Baldur's Gate One and Two Enhanced Editions. Motherfucker, you asked for it. It's here." Which is cool, which is a really good thing. Um, because you do not know the loops I've had to jump through to get those games working. Oh my god. For people listening, if you have any recommendations or anything that you, any games that you've played that either you've loved and then modded and loved some more, or was absolute shit and then modded and then loved, <laughs> let us know. So basically, <laughs> are you trying to say if you're playing World Warcraft 3 and you're like, man, Dota's just so good? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, we're, but, but, we're, yeah, keen, I mean, we're keen to hear your suggestions. Let that, us know. Share share some of this information well, with us. Like I do. Did. I do want to just say that that is a very good point. Dota was started off as a mod. As a mod. Yeah. yeah. Or, honestly, games that like games with mods and the mod turns it into, into something, something else so different. Yeah. Like compare vanilla Half Life to Counter Strike yeah. to Natural Selection even, to Portal. Even mm. some of the Starcraft. Well, like I mean, around. Like calling was... Portal a mod's a tall order, but it pretty much is. Yeah, it pretty much is. I mean, it, like, it was all part of Half-Life's 
engine, right? Which is Source. Mm, like, I, I still love that when um, when like Portal or TF2 crashes, it still says HL2.exe has crashed. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I, mean, I remember I mean, when I like, installed like, Valve, if you're listening, like, like, that's, come on, people. That's, a, that's a fucking like it's a, one line <laughs> of code. Come on. Right, no, <laughs> if we're going to call people the out about this, can we point out that Link and Skype for Business base executable is still called Communicator, which is four revisions ago now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I found that hilarious when I first got Steam and the first thing that I got was Half-Life 2. And it yeah. was just, not the Half-Life 2. Um, TF2. Yeah, yeah. And, like, <laughs> the file for it was... <laughs> HL2. HL2. Yeah. 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 Good um, times. Okay, um, we might wrap this podcast up a little bit earlier than usual. Well, we can still do, like, a recommendation section. That's what I was going to get into. Hell Settle yeah! Down. Hell yeah! <laughs> We're going to skip his recommendations. Okay. Ryan, yeah. um, I guess... I recommend giving Ben some head. No! <laughs> Okay, anyone listening or watching, if you're willing to... I'm I a guess, YouTuber, send nudes. Gonna, <laughs> yes! We can't stop join, you. Join the Discord, send nudes. <laughs> like, um, I, if, if that's what you want, I guess. My, my recommendation uh, is actually, yeah, join our Discord. Like, we're, I mean, it's obviously just pretty much just us and a few others um, at the moment. But yeah, it's got we're my hoping mate. to get that whole community sort of snowball well, yeah. thing It's happening. got my mate Grant on there. He's pretty cool. He plays Dark Souls and D&D. Yeah. We've got Tom. Tom's cool. If I can remember the name of that messed up kids cartoon, I'll post it on that. I would say, Discord. I would say <laughs> Beck's in there. Beck likes Sailor, Sailor Moon and Pokemon. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> There's bound to be someone entertaining to talk to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that would be my recommendation. And, would be and any Discord. conversations that we have on here, we're more than happy to carry on on those dis- on that Discord channel. So, if you're interested, jump on. Whether it's in the comments on the video or whether it's via Discord, just feel free to give us your opinions. We're eager to hear them. Yep. What's your What's your recommendation? Ben? Um, my recommendation is uh, I started watching Defenders. Oh, was it any good? I tried watching Defenders and I've watched, I've watched the first episode and it's got me intrigued. So yeah, um, so I'm keen to. Carry I'm intrigued on. yet suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> See, Adam and Leah's review of it was, eh. Yeah. No, I can. Like, I've I've heard bad reviews of it, but I I tend to go, okay, that's what you think. I'm still gonna give it a try. See well, what I think. I mean, and so like, far, I've heard. I feel like we've both been on point with each other on their Marvel TV series. Yeah. Sort of, um, so yeah, if, if anybody hasn't watched any of the Marvel stuff, don't watch Iron Fist. Just, just ignore that one. Only watch Jessica Jones <laughs> episode. I can't remember what the exact episode order Sorry. is. Um, and then watch Iron Fist. No, no, Iron Fist, Luke Cage. God damn it. Daredevil? Anything, anything you want to recommend? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I, okay. Hellblazer. Volume 16 and 17 are out. If you fucking love Constantine. So people should start with 16 or 17? Or should people they start should with just one? What, enjoy John Constantine. Honestly, some of these things you can just jump into the middle. And the uh, yeah. stories, they, they, you miss out on some background, but the stories are I very interesting. Volume on 6 their own is, to, if you're not starting out one, Volume 6 is a great place. Yeah. Um, also, Doom Patrol for earlier. Very good. Mm-hmm. There's so many stuff. Metroid 2, the remake <laughs> just came out. <laughs> For anyone listening, Ben actually brought no, props I have a lot. physical I things in front of me. I love that Ben is just like, yes, I, this is show and tell. I, I brought I, these yeah. things along to um, show you guys. Now, I haven't actually played this, Metroid. Mm-hmm. but I've been hyping myself up by playing the original Metroid I've 2. I've heard a lot of good things about AM2R it. And AM2R and listening to the soundtracks, yeah. and they're pretty banging. Can you still get AM2R? I thought they got taken down. Oh, also, well, sorry. Let me, let me, very sorry. Very pretty. In case you yes, can't see Samus it. is it very looks, pretty, Ben. Yeah, but I, I, I guess so. <laughs> if um, my point being, the game looks good. Um, so D- Gerard, the completionist, did a thing on this one, and it's like, "Yep, that's a Metroid game," and I'm like, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> that's good enough I, for me." That's all I asked <laughs> and for. Last one, and this is not my recommendation, but this is one of my friends who will also try and get on the Discord. Apparently, this is the greatest Pokemon game. I was going to say, it makes me think... Oh, so, it makes Pokemon me think, Crystal. Yeah, we've done this joke today. <laughs> we have. <laughs> I literally just picked it up, and I was thinking Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Like, like, just all of those... And you're like, it's channeling... into the, one. It's the channeling the anime to, to my soul. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so It's got dragons, so... What it is... Um, have you ever played Monster Hunter? No. Monster Hunter is... is a fucking great game where you play a tiny dude and you team up with any other tiny people mm-hmm. and you try and fucking take down dinosaurs cool it's great <laughs> it's like oh it's 
and you get to choose different weapons and like after you kill the dinosaur you like skin the dinosaur for fat loot and build awesome armor from the corpses of your defeated foes so you can then go take down larger dinosaurs fair enough it's really good this game is not about that. This game is about <laughs> you making... This is, this is not what we're talking about. Yeah, this is about you making friends with dinosaurs and then fighting other people who's made friends with dinosaurs. And I'm like, I could do and that. And having your dinosaurs fight against each other. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I could do that. And that does sound like Pokemon. I'm surprised yeah. you said that's the best. Yeah. <laughs> and um, my friend Kate was just like, oh yeah, it also has mad science in there somewhere. And I'm like, sign me up. Cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's an actual Pokemon. <laughs> so once you get on the Three audio thing, Pokemon, I, holy I, shit, <laughs> that one looks like fucking the cat um, one. The cat one. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you, who and don't that looks know. like Rockruff. So we're just looking, <laughs> we're, we're looking at the game case and we're just picking out Pokemon on this thing. Yeah. Isn't that Ludicolo? That is in fact Ludicolo. <laughs> Isn't that Cloud? <laughs> <laughs> is Cloud Strife in this? Um, is so, it, this is either the best decision I've ever made or the worst decision. So guys that are listening and watching, just even if you're not going to play it, check it out. Look at Monster See, Hunter stories. Once again, I know it I keep cool. doing this where I go, I'm going to be doing this next week. Come join me. So yeah, yeah I'll um, I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah. And like I'm, from I'm, last, I'm genuinely keen to hear how it goes. Last week, Mario X Rabbids was like eight stars fucking great game eight stars out of five (laughs) four stars out of five eight stars out of ten okay um four stars out of five sounds better than eight stars out of ten well it's the same metric yeah but it sounds do you want me to like scale it up it's 16 out of 20 See, Ooh, that, that, sounds that sounds worse. really bad. It sounds worse. It's 800 it? out of 1,000. <laughs> the more you yeah. scale it up, the worse it sounds. Anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, I feel bad for giving their game that low of a score now. Maybe it's a 9 out of 10. It's a really good game. So it's an 18 out of 20. <laughs> Maybe a 19 out of... Ah! Ah! Okay, all right, all right. Um, we'll wrap uh, it up there. So once again, thanks for tuning in and listening to us and watching us because we're so pretty. Oh. Um, he's pretty we're just yeah. entertaining <laughs> yeah um I'm if sexual. you're watching on youtube please <laughs> like and subscribe um check out some of our other content and if you're on itunes good for you <laughs> <laughs> if you're on <laughs> soundcloud leave a, leave a review. um and yeah you also have the options of using soundcloud and other podcast means and if you want the furry fish to remain a mascot let me know and i'll try it's and steal it's not our furry it. fish it's not i will furry try fish. and steal it from the office we, we no can't steal it. we can't steal it whose furry fish is i will buy the furry we can fish find out okay well that, that, that's your mission for the before the ne- next podcast <laughs> find out whose furry fish it is and, and potentially buy it. buy it off them um it's anyway fish. thanks a lot guys and we'll catch you in the next podcast bye bye, bye. Oh. Huh.